Set for a start in our Top Star Junior Feature Race. 12 laps the journey for the kids. Jackson Buzan. And Travis Lehman to lead us away. Harrison Barris is also in there as well. Two-time winner so far tonight, but it's the Bunbury Custom Cabinets car number 10. It's charged away with an easy lead at the moment from Jackson Buzan. They've had to hurry up and get the 199 fix and maybe something else is a skew for Buzan because he's all out of shape. Thanks to KJB Fabrication and Down Under Graphics. Double points on offer. For our feature races tonight in the Southern Sedan showdown is sliding in on to Harrison. Barris is Michaela Hansey. The only real local in the field in this one trying to do her best to get onto the podium in front of the home crowd. But at the moment, it's Bunbury, Perth and Bunbury. One, two and three at the moment. The lonesome Collie lady is in fourth place of Michaela Hensey. And right behind them, they're challenging deeply. It's Deegan McNally and Harrison Berris. Berris has actually fallen through the field in this one. Fallen, I should say, through the field. As we get our English, more sorted. Maya Dunn is out of this one or two in the 55. We come through again out of turn number four. Lehman's got a, a comfortable margin. The battle now is for P3. Here comes the 6225s hope. Michaela Henze onto the inside of Jackson Buzan. That crash really has hurt. As all oh, crunch! That was a big hit to the concrete wall. And crunch coming in very late. Is David Hoff as the red lights have come on. Oh, that was heavy. Has hurt. As all oh, crunch. That was a big hit to the concrete wall. And crunch coming in very late. Is David Hoff as the red lights have come on. Oh, that was heavy. Has hurt. As all oh, crunch. That was a big hit to the concrete wall. And crunch coming in very late. Is David Hoff as the red lights have come on. Oh, that was heavy. So we've lost a couple of drivers out of that one. Three of them to be in fact. So five cars remaining. Deegan McNally now finds himself in third. Harrison Barris fourth. And Colby Bosley. Now sitting in position number five. As they roll around to greet the green light. Lehman, Truchet and Deegan McNally, one, two and three, with four laps remaining of our Top Star Junior Sedan feature race. Or it might have been just four down, we'll have to wait and see. Actually, no, it's four down that they said. I thought it was four to go, no, four down. And eight laps are remaining. Lehman, holding on for backs of Truchet, Deegan McNally, now fighting for his life against Harrison Barris <laughs> for the last spot on the podium. So there's two battles, got two going on, and one of them sadly isn't going to be sitting on the podium. Who's it going to be at the moment? It's Harrison Barris, and it's Jake Lehman fighting for all life right now on backs of True Shane. The current series leader with his challenges at the moment, close by on the infield. Could be a perfect time to have some breathing room before we head to Albany's Apple Park Speedway in January 6 and 7. But back's the true shape. He wants to make it feel a little bit tighter between the two of them. Laps are going very quickly now as McNally and Harrison Barris continue on their merry way for that last spot on the podium in tonight's feature race. Anyone's choice still out of it. Colby Bosley is probably the only one out of all harm's way for a shot on this podium. But Deegan McNally, who was sideways in front of Harrison Barris. Lucky though, Barris running the identical line of what McNally is. It's not the same so far for our lead two at the moment between car number 70 and car number 34. The door is left open on every exit and backs of Truchet. Can see he just doesn't have enough as of yet. But it's the Lancer up ahead of a field of three. Miss 
oh, sorry, Hyundai XLs that are chasing so closely right behind him. Luckily enough, though, for Baxter True Shade, there is some sort of gap between him and Deegan McNally. McNally doesn't have the same sort of feeling, though, with him and Beres on it as well. The white flag is at the ready next time by a two to go for young Jake Lehman. He had his biggest win of his career in the last round of the Southern Sudan Showdown. I think this one with the Collie Club Championships added on as well. It's going to be even more special, but he's really throwing our cat amongst the pitches in that one. As he come to the line, he was sideways. Backs the true Shea is right there. He looks to the inside of this one. This is going to go right to the line. True Shea, has he got the power down the back straight? It all points to Lehman at the moment. So too for McNally on car number 18. It's going to be a drag race as Lehman runs out of shape. So does McNally as well. But it's Jake Lehman taking the win. Second is Baxter Truchet. From there, it's Deegan McNally, Harrison Barris, and Colby Bosley. A great race in the end. And a big round of applause. Might have to see. We are having as well an interval now. So a short break. We will be having a track break. But before we head into that, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for your top star, Junior Sam Fish race winning. And round number three of the Southern Sedan showdown goes away of car number 70. Out of Bunbury, it's Jake Lehman.